Hello everybody, this is Dreaming of Back for round 8 of the Spooky Showdown. First we got a pointless match between the bottom two in Eel Carcaria and Gastonia. Top four already gone for these two, but looking to restore a bit of pride. Then we have Sejuangosaurus versus Eoraptor. Will Eoraptor make it three straight wins and give their top four hopes a considerable boost? Up next we got crucial match here between Diceratops and Lanzusaur as Diceratops has to win this contest here and hope that the Irritator slips up in the next matchup when it takes on the T-Rex. And then for our main event, it couldn't be anything else but a clash of two of Seth's strongest dinosaurs, Black T-Rex and Sorofagonax. And the winner will probably finish top. Well, if it's Black T-Rex, it's in their hands. <laughs> but yeah, what a main event to look forward to. But first, let's get the pointless match out of the way. Okie dokie, in the red core. We got the bruised banana, the, the dawn shark of Africa. It's Yokarkiria. Yeah, it's um, one of the, oh, the only fire dinosaurs to really struggle in this tournament. Only two wins. It did beat the T-Rex, so I'll give it props for that. In the blue corner, this dino's full of wind, he's full of hot air, he's Gastonia. Yeah, another dinosaur that hasn't really lit up this tournament. But again, they did get, a, it did, its only win was against T-Rex, so crazy, isn't it? <laughs> These two are bottom, are the bottom two, and yet they both defeated T-Rex. Tournament's for you, isn't it? But unfortunately, one win is not good enough in this tournament. You, honestly, you could skip this match if you want. I mean, it's not going to have any bearing on who finishes in the top four. But if you like these two dinosaurs, then continue. feel free to watch. And that's a good start from the Eel Carcaria getting a crit on the board. Ooh, that's a tie. Another tie. No sand traps though. Interesting. The tie recovery effect of the Eel Carcaria activating there. And it's Gastonia again a hit on the board. As a tiebreaker as well. Ooh, an Earth Barrier that will spear Gastonia from being defeated. If Eel Carcaria gets the next hit. Hmm, could Gastonia make the comeback? Oh, that's a crit. Is that lethal? Almost lethal, but a tie will do it now for Gastonia. And there is that tie, and the tiebreakers stop it from taking damage as well, and Eocarteria yet again falls to another disappointing defeat. And Gastonia wins the first match. Right, on to our second match. Alrighty then, in the red corner, it's our purple pesky Petunius Predator. It says one of swords. Well, it's um, not really happened for him, but he did get a good win against Irritator. And he did defeat the uh, Eocarcaria, which really, pretty much spiralled the downfall of Eocarcaria in this tournament. In the blue corner, we got another purple dinosaur. But it's a purple shapeshifter from the dawn of the dinosaurs. It's your actor. Ooh, going Lambiosaurus this time. Interesting. Now, Eoraptor, despite a pretty slow start, still has an outside chance of a top four. But they must win this contest. If they can get a win here, they'll go to 12 points, which won't be enough to gain the top four as it stands, but it will give them a shot. They'll be within punching range. Given that all the top four guys have to play each other as well. So we have T-Rex and Irritator, Black T-Rex and Sorofagonix. And Eoraptor plays Sorofagonax in the final round. So it is on for the Eoraptor, but they have to win this match, and that is a good way to do it. A crit off the bat, getting that elemental power going. We're finally starting to see the benefit of this elemental power strategy. Ooh, that's a tie. Here comes the green impulse. And in fact, green impulse will heal up the Eoraptor, so... It'll gain back the health it lost during the time. And look at this. Oh, okay, maybe not. 
<laughs> Sejuangasaurus doesn't have much health left anyway. There's the blunder effect as well, nullifying the jet shuriken. Oh, and there's the hit. That'll do it. That's a two platoon crush. And Sejuangasaurus getting crushed by the weight of your raptor. Oh, look at it. It's so tiny. Yes, little morsel. We'll be smacked between our necks. Boosh. Oh, that's some broken ribs there. And yep, Sejuangasaurus gets defeated and Eoraptor makes it three wins in a row. And collects a decent amount of points as well. That could be crucial going into the final round. Right, on to our third contest. Okioki in the red corner. It's our orange two-horned face killer. It's Diceratops. It's win or bust for Diceratops here. Defeat. Hell, even a draw and their top four hopes will be all but over. But a win, and they'll go level on points with Lantusaurus. Right, in the blue corner. This dino sucks hope out of its opponent. It's Lantusaurus. Lantusaurus, a win here, will put them level on points with T-Rex, Black T-Rex, and Sauropagonax. And will kick Irritator out of the top four. So there's plenty to play for you. And a win here would put pressure on your Raptor as well. If they get a big win, they rack up a decent amount of points. That will probably end your Raptor's hopes to the top four, to be honest. Ooh, it's Diceratops that gets the first hit on the board. Thunder Bazooka imminent, as is Crit Block. So, you know what that means? The Diceratops will be going for his critical move. The move that it can't lose to. Ooh, that would have been a good paper. You can't go paper. You can't go paper. You can't go paper. Look at his freaking spamming paper. It's like, yo, let me go paper. But the Diceratops is having none of it. Lanzusaurus there in a bit of a pickle here. No Emerald Garden to bail itself out either. Ooh, but it does get the next hit on the board. Now, it's crucial here. They don't want the Diceratops to win too big, because they'll get a lot of battle points if they get a big win here. So that could be a crucial hit, even if Lanzusaurus doesn't win this match. And I do believe Diceratops does have more battle points than the Sauropagonix. Oh, it's another power drain! Lanzusaurus turning the screw. Living up to its reputation of being a life-sucking dino that shows no mercy. Can Diceratops survive? Oh, he gets a hit. That could be a crucial hit, but it won't be lethal. Emerald Garden's been triggered. But that puts the odds back in Diceratops' favour. And this has been a very tight contest. Oh, no! The Diceratops' hopes of a top four finish have officially died. Lanzusaurus comes from behind to snatch the victory. And yeah, unfortunately for Diceratops, that is it for their top four hopes. Because they will not have enough points. There's not enough games for them to get points in. Okie dokie, on to our next matchup now, and that puts a little bit of pressure on Irritator. Okie dokie, in the blue corner, this dino makes you mad, he makes you irritated, he's Irritator. Irritator currently sitting fifth in the table, a win here and they will go top. And heap all sorts of pressure on the T-Rex for, for the final round. In the blue corner, it's the tyrant apex of the Cretaceous. It's T-Rex. A win here for the T-Rex and they guarantee top four. So yeah, plenty at stake for these two guys. But this is a good matchup for Irritator. They do have the type advantage, so T-Rex is going to have to be careful here. But even with type disadvantage, that blazing spin will do a severe amount of damage to Irritator. So Irritator's got to watch that crept. Ooh, and Irritator gets the first hit on the board. I don't think we've seen Aqua Javelin once from Irritator's entire tournament. 
crazy, isn't it? All the hits it's gotten, all the wins it has. We've not seen Aqua Javelin once. I will say, this Irritator is heroic type, so having facing a dino with a paper crit is also good for it. Ooh, the T-Rex gets his first hit of the match with a firebomb though, so Irritator won't take too much damage. Oh, that's another hit! And this is going to do a lot more damage than that firebomb did. Oh, look at the T-Rex on the brink of defeat. And that'll do it. Down goes the T-Rex and Irritator claims another victory over a fire type. And that, for the time being, will take our irritant friend top of the table. As for T-Rex, well, they're just going to have to do it all on the final day, but they are the only combatant... Well, Irritator has over 4,000 now, but they do have over 4,000 battle points, T-Rex, so I think they'll get top four. Now, now then, on to our main event of this evening. It's a big clash between Sorofaganax and Black T-Rex. Alrighty then, in the red corner... It's our big bad black brute, the bully, it's Black T-Rex. Well, Black T-Rex really coming into his own in the last couple of rounds, getting some dominant victories. And a win here will put them top and secure a top four finish. But in the blue corner, we have, we have the apex of the Jurassic, the sharpshooter, it's Soro Faganax. A win for Sorofaganax will guarantee top four as well. And I feel like the pressure's more on Sorofaganax here because they do have the least battle points out of the um, dinosaurs up uh, in the top four. So a win here for Sorofaganax could be crucial. And they do have to face the Eoraptor in the final round, which will be a big game should Black T-Rex win here. Oh, that's not a good start. That's a crit. That's a net crusher. Badoosh. Oh, that's a tight. That's a five. Ooh, that's a crit from the Faganax. That could be a crucial crit, that could be. Ooh, look at this, a volcano burst. Now, Sir Faganax is the comeback specialist in this tournament, so... Don't be surprised that, that it was losing early on. But it's not losing anymore. Oh, he's done it! The Black T-Rex falls to the Faganax. And it is Soro Faganax, the first dino to officially book their top four finish. And we will see him in the finale. For Black T-Rex, well, they're just going to have to do it on the final day, aren't they? And that will conclude round eight. Right, we'll have a look at our table going into the final round. Well, there you have it, folks. So, Faganax being the first dinosaur to confirm their place in the top four. But then, look how tight it is between this lot. We have Irritator currently sitting in second. How crucial could that draw be? That could be a massive draw. T-Rex and Lanzusaurus and Black T-Rex level on points at 15. And then Eeyore after with an outside chance on 12 points. And then these poor saps, nowhere to be seen. Top four's done for them. But yeah, that's where I'm nine, ladies and gentlemen. So, hope you enjoyed this penultimate round. If you did, please leave a like, ding the bell, do whatever you like. And make sure you do not miss out on the concluding round of this tournament. And until then, ta-ta! Mm -hmm.